It only takes a spark to overcome the darkness. Human trafficking is an international scourge. It's an issue that's taking place everywhere. We have had human trafficking uh, survivors placed in our care and not even really knowing that that is what it was because nobody used to call it that. The standard individual may think that trafficking does not happen in our backyard, that it happens in third world countries. I'll ask people, what is human trafficking? And they all kind of say the same thing. It's stranger danger, it's, it's that white van pulling up and kidnapping your kid from the mall, or it's just like the movie Taken. And there are some elements of truth to that. But human trafficking is insidious, it's evil, and it's the second largest illegal industry. Florida ranks third in the nation for human trafficking. We're very transient. It's a melting pot. Um, people can come and go. It's hard for people to really understand that this is really happening right here in our back door. Trafficking is somebody with a vulnerability and somebody selfishly and for profit essentially blackmailing or exploiting someone's vulnerabilities for that other person's gain. There's gang trafficking. It's where we see some of our middle schoolers um, getting pulled into the life. The renegade trafficker, somebody who's trafficking themselves. It could be a former sex worker who, that's their means of survival. Then there's elements of familial trafficking. We see a Romeo pimp. A lot of times that's kind of what people think of when they think of street-based prostitution or strippers. And, and sex extortion is taking our society by storm. During COVID, just St. Lucie County spiked 80% in internet crimes against children because so many kids are online. So many kids are vulnerable. And you could be anybody you want to be on the other side of that screen. You could say that you're a 14 year old from Palm Beach when really you're a 67 year old in Arizona. You can derail and wreck someone's life forever uh, as a result of exploiting them. Primarily we're getting those children who are under 18 through DCF. So they're coming into our, our foster care system and, and we're having to figure out the breadth and the depth of the exploitation if they even identify. Um, and then putting them into care and providing them targeted case therapy. We just knew we needed to do more, uh, especially from a therapeutic intervention perspective. They require more. They have been through a lot more than most people who will go through in a lifetime, and their children. Early on, we were one of the first confidentially located safe houses in all of Florida, taking in uh, females only, under 18 human trafficking survivors who were placed with us statewide. And we looked at, okay, how, is there a better way to do what we're doing and actually even reach more as we started to see the numbers tick up over the years. Uh, and so what we did is we, we sort of brought it in house. We put them in our regular foster homes and our regular families. We don't label it a trafficking house. We don't label them, nobody knows, but we provide an extra layer of services for them. They have a, a trauma therapist. They have a case manager who um, has been trained in human trafficking. And give them again that springboard to reach success. Give them the love and the wraparound that they need and come together around them as a community. When someone's gone through that much trauma, the way it manifests itself, we take that into account um, when we deal with them on a day-to-day -day basis. It's hard for them to feel safe when you're trying to give them safety. We're providing that privatized care. They need it, they deserve it, um, to be able to get them from where they are, placing them back into society and unpacking all of those pieces. It's unfortunate that we have our jobs, but I'm thankful that it's us. We are rewriting stories and changing lives every single day. By supporting the Place of Hope model, um, whether that's close up or, or um, even just financially from afar, uh, people really feel like they can uh, tangibly do something about one of the worst things we face as, as, a, as a nation and, a, and as, a, as a world. Um, and here at Place of Hope, we're doing something about it. How will you? 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 How will you be a light in the shadows?